October 18th. We are one day behind schedule. We had two weeks of stuff to do to get this trailer ready to get on the road. We fell behind a little bit. We needed a little dental work. We had one day where we had to switch our entire storage unit over, but that's another story. Um, today is the day that we are done with this whole thing. Done. The slides are in. Everything's in storage. And we just have a little bit of a mess to clean up out here. So we're going to and take a look at the smushed final product. Oh, there he is, hard at work. Getting ready to go. Locking the shop down, getting everything, <laughs> getting everything mobile. Bungee cords are our best friend at this point. Yeah. They're fantastic. <laughs> right along this way. Okay, significantly smaller than it was before. Oh, great. If I had to live in it like this, I'd be insane. We had to pull our clothes out of the drawers to get to get to what we wanted, the bed squished up against the dresser. Can you see? Whew, it's been a lot of work, but we're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. We'll be, we'll be rolling out of here. So we're getting getting almost there to leave and we had an idea for the chihuahua to, to ride in the truck. Um, she's got this little dog dog seat that he's mounting and uh, <clears throat> putting it on top of the speaker box. A little a little dog car seat so that she's nice and safe and she's got her own window and she's out of our hair. Nickname's gonna be Thumper. Right? Because she's on top of the big, giant speaker. <laughs> First attempt at pulling her out. This might take a bit. This space is extremely small for this giant trailer. So it's probably going to take about a 32 point turn <laughs> to, to get the right angle to take it out. We have to worry about those power lines up there. Last time we got this in, we had a guy standing on the roof holding those power lines up. But uh, Monk went and used his handy dandy zip ties to uh, keep it up there. Keep it over the roof. We don't want it catching on a vent, pulling the telephone pole down, ripping the vent off. That would just be disastrous. Here we go. We got some gas lines we need to watch. Make sure that we don't run into it. Gas line has been cleared. Looks like the power lines 
didn't get touched, which is good. This might hook something, so. Oh, we're clear back here. Nice. Wow, look at all this open space, huh? <laughs> Woo. What a monster. We're doing good. I think I can still hook that. We're doing good. We're doing good. Wow, we would have such a big backyard if it wasn't for that big trailer. <laughs> wow, is getting it out of here gonna be like that? How about that? Woohoo! Getting it, in, getting it out is a lot easier than getting the damn thing in. Yeah. Holy cow, we're clear. Yeah, that's amazing. If only we would have shown you how it was to get in. <laughs> you guys would have laughed. We had the whole trailer park standing out there gossiping. I don't think it's gonna work. And by golly, he certainly made it work. Look, that close to the road. That's, that's so close. We're almost there. So close to the road. Oh my gosh. All right, so I think what I can do is I think I can pull it out into the street straight a little bit, then I'll uh, kind of back it about as much as I can in and swing it just straight in this way. Sound good? Sounds good. Oh my gosh, this is a monster. <sighs> it's a little nerve wracking. Ha, ha, ha. 